Let's see what's going to happen in game two between MC and Bomber here in the quarterfinals. The winner of this round playing the winner of Naniwa versus Moon. In the bottom left corner, the recent GSL Code A champion, we have Star Tails Bomber. Down 0-1, but do not be deceived. It is not any lack of skill because his opponent in the top right corner, the two-time GSL Code S champion, OGS MC. An MC claiming that he can win every single non-Korean tournament, any tournament outside of Korea. Will Bomber be able to stand in his way and crawl back into this game? Or will MC be able to close it out with a nice swift 2-0 advancing into the semi-finals? We'll have to see on Zelnog and Kamens here and both players. And actually, surprisingly, MC not scouting directly after that pylon. And uh, we'll be going ahead and scout after this uh, 13, well, 12 gateway here. Relatively early gateway at this point. Now Chrono boosting out probes. Will MC go for an early expand or will he change up his strategy? Keep in mind, Bomber has incredible class and mana. He ended up disconnecting against mm -hmm. mana when they were playing and Bomber had a distinct advantage, but Bomber refused to accept the win, demanded a regain. And that was not only a demonstration of his manner, but also his comfort with changing up strategies. Did an early expand in one game and a fast gas in the second. And here we see Bomber not doing the early expand he mm. did in game one, also switching up the strategy to a faster gas. We'll have to see what he's going to do with this gas. I guess the couple of options he can go for is uh, maybe a Reaper expand, or he might even go into some kind of pressure build with early concussive shells. And uh, I think MC is going to be up to the task of any of those builds so we're gonna have to see and we do see a very early second barracks going down straight oh. away as the probe leaves but the probe returns back in and we'll be able to scout it as well as the reactor too and mc has complete vision of what's going on in this game we did see this exact opening by bomber against mana did a crushing early push and con contained his opponent with two bunkers it was very difficult for Mana to break out Bomber with the perfect response. Will he open up with that aggressive style again? Very aggressive Terran players like QXE have been employing s similar styles before. Mm. First Watchtower now being held, skipping the Zealot again, Di Apollo, and going straight for that Stalker. And uh, I don't think MC can go for the same build like previously, One Gate Expo. Most likely try to go for Two Gate. He might try the One Gate Expo, though, if he feels comfortable with his control, with his micro and unit usage. And uh, he might be able to hold any form of aggression, but if he does feel a little bit unsafe, he could add on that second gateway to help get a couple of more extra units out here. And uh, we are having the tech lab near completion here. What upgrade will he be going for straight off the bat here? And it is going to be the concussive shells, and Marauders are in the making now. Definitely going to be an early pressure build by Bomber. I'm very curious to see where this chrono boost will land for MC. Is he actually going to be going for a very fast... Oh, he is. He's there it is, man. A fast early expand, but coming up extremely soon is going to be Bombers. Two barracks aggression, a bold play by MC, especially considering that he did scout the two racks play coming up and the reactor. No doubt this push is exactly what Bomber had planned. And uh, another gateway has been added on on the third one to follow just now as well. He might actually need to pull a couple of probes here to help just tank a little bit of damage because he does have that very fast nexus and can start to save up that chrono boost. Yeah, uh, very uh -oh. well might be able to defend against this. A couple of sentries have been warped in now. That stalker is very vital, does not want to get caught off here. <gasps> Going the wrong way round and does Bomber realize? Oh, Bomber, does he see it? The stalker pinching in from the left. Sentry almost ends up getting taken out. Will MC have to cancel this nexus? That would be a tragic early start to the game. We do see a bunker going to be getting constructed. Is it in vision range? No. MC has no idea about it. That means MC might very well try to keep this Nexus alive. But look at these units rallying in. And we see, oh, he's sprinting forward with probes and force fields. The Stalker will pick off the SCV from the left. MC incredibly letting that Nexus finish. Confident that he can control this properly. We do see the target fire going down. MC trying to pick off as many of these units that he can. But Bomber's aggression and control are spot on. Easily picking off those Zealots. Target firing that Nexus sum. It is at 300 hit points. Can he keep it alive? And the answer is no. Oh. Bomber kills the Nexus. 
And uh, Bomber doesn't really even need to go ahead and engage here. He can easily just pull back now as he has his own command center up and running. Will just continue to contain MC a little bit. Force, extra force fields. Maybe even snipe a few units if he does move down. But uh, we'll have to see very careful. And he looks like he's going to, well, try wow. to contain MC by throwing up a bunker here. Very aggressive play by Bomber. Absolutely loves this opening. This is the second time that he has done it. That's Continuing a bit of a to mistake. send SCVs. Bit of a mistake there by MC. He was actually forgetting about that Stalker. He saved. And that would have helped out a lot against that army. Oh, trying to juke up with a mule. Now keep in mind, Bomber, well known for doing the in-game smack talk without words. That is right. He lands mules in battles when he thinks he has huge leads. That could have been a potential little trash talk move there by Bomber, but it looks like he was using the mule to poke up. MC now finally getting to move down his expansion, and what do we see in the main? It looks like a Twilight Council is going down. And uh, the usual timing of an engineer bay wouldn't be too far from now. To begin that plus one upgrade and also just to get a turret for safety, especially because he is this far ahead right now. If you look at the unit tab, 29 SUVs with double orbital command versus 24 probes. Quite an advantage for Bomber right now. And uh, he is building a bunker for safe precautions. Stim, not too far away. And I have a bad feeling for MC. When Stim finishes here, we might see a push that could potentially kill him. But MC looks like he's going to employ a tactic we've seen White Rod do twice in this tournament. A very fast Dark Shrine with no tech at all. Bomber is going to have to spend a lot of scans to pick off those DTs, but I'm not even so sure MC will be able to get there. We see a big push from Bomber. He is simply waiting for that stim to be done. Ten more seconds, D Apollo. And uh, the countdown has begun. The final <laughs> countdown for MC. Will Bomber be able to equalize this series? And in he comes. Will he just Ooh, he's oh. trying to bait the force fields, and there's the stim! Great force fields by MC, but not catching enough units. All the Marines Marauders sweeping around the left side, but no, they get blocked by the force field wall and the target fire on the Nexus, and he drops a mule mid-battle! Wow, sickest mana by Bomber. Picking off so many units, the mule, keep in mind, mules cannot attack in StarCraft 2. And they're dancing! Oh. oh no! Wow, dancing marauders, mules, and marines here against MC. But the thing is, the Dark Shrine has finished. And uh, there is no engineer, in oh, there is actually, but there are no turrets. So he has to be careful here. Two DTs oh. all walked in here. Another mule landed. And look at that instant reaction time. Two swipes from the DTs. Bam, turrets are going down in the main at the ramp. Very, very nice response by Bomber, and again, being really great. Is he worried about Mutalisks? This is a lot of turrets. <laughs> oh my god. That is so lose. many turrets, and the Mule coming back home. Can he mine in the next eight seconds? And no, he's a lazy Mule. He never did much work anyways, and spending a scan regardless, will be able to pick this off, Easy. and there's the good game. Bomber tying the series up. Wow. 1-1, wow. one, one. Bomber versus MC. And uh, also, just before we kind of look over and recap that game, uh, Moon versus Naniwa is currently going on. Moon taking the first game. Really? They are playing game two right now. Moon 1-0 wow. versus Dignitas Naniwa. Now, that does mean if... Naniwa gets eliminated. Huck will be the last remaining foreigner in this tournament. The Koreans are absolutely tearing this tournament apart thus far. And it looks like, uh-oh, OGS MC and Bomber both still being friendly in chat despite what you would think. No, these players have deep respect for one another, joking around in chat.